Hello, I'm Azita Tadresan. My project is about solving traveling salesman problem using genetic algorithms. Traveling salesman problem. The objective in a traveling salesman problem is to visit all vertices once and come back to the starting node. By doing so, we wish to minimize the total distance traveled. The distance between each vertices is given as the edge weights. The person comes back to the starting point. So the total distance is the total cycle length. Genetic algorithm for TSP. Solving TSP is NP hard. No exact solution in polynomial time is possible. We have learned about genetic algorithms, which are meta heuristic algorithms. They give approximate solutions in reasonable amount of time. The formulation of TSP as a genetic algorithm is tricky. There are many different choices in the mutation and crossover methods. This work implements some of the methods and compares them with small as well as large graphs. The binary chromosome uh, representation is we have seen in class is not useful for TSP. All the vertices appear exactly once in the path. So while crossover, it is hard to maintain this constraint. So we represent a chromosome as a simple path of nodes visited in order. Here the path taken is from 1 to 2 to 3 all the way to 8 and then back to 1. This is called a path-based representation. There are other representation as well, such as edge-based representation, which are not explored here. Mutation means small perturbation made to the chromosome. Make mutation with a small probability P mutate. We consider two types of mutation. Swap mutation, insertion mutation. They are discussed in the next slides. Swap mutation. Swap mutation is simple. Randomly pick a position in the chromosome, then swap it with the adjacent value. In the example given, 5 and 6 are swapped to the mutated chromosome. Note that the second path is quite close to the original path, differing in only two edges. So the property of small perturbation holds. An extension of the swap mutation. A value can be swapped with any other value, not necessarily adjacent. The changes, these changes, four edges in total compared to the two in swap mutation. So this is insertion mutation. Crossover operations. Crossover operations are the hardest part of applying genetic algorithms to traveling salesman problem. Consider the usual single point crossover. We randomly pick a location to cross over. In the example above, it is at position two, looks at offspring one. It is formed by the first part of parent 1 and the second part of parent 2. But notice that the offspring 1 has repetitions of 2. This is unacceptable 
in a traveling salesman problem. A TSP solution should have all the vertices coming exactly once. Hence, single point crossover are not suitable for solving TSP. Partially map crossover PMX. So we consider two point crossover functions. We consider two types of crossover, partially mapped crossover denoted as PMX or their crossover denoted as OX. The partially mapped crossover denoted is illustrated in the example given. Note that we pick two locations in the example. They are at locations two and six. So the partial segment from parent one, that is five, six, four, is copied directly to the offspring one at the exact same location. Next, all other values from parent two are copied to their exact same locations. Now there could be repetitions. These are uh, replaced by the values missing in the path sample randomly or in the positions they were replaced from originally. Order crossover OX. The order crossover is quite similar to the PMX, but it doesn't preserve the absolute position. Rather, it tries to preserve order. So same as PMX, the values 5, 6, 4 are copied to the offspring. The from, uh, then from parent 2, the values after the partial segment, values four after 4 are copied to the offspring after the segment itself in order. But we will drop any duplicates. Duplicates are not copied. Note that we get one offspring by this. Then swapping parent one and parent two, we will get the other offspring. Dataset. The dataset is generated by first fixing a graph size n number of nodes. We consider n 10, 50, and 100. The age weights are assigned value randomly sampled from 1 to 99. Note that it will be fully connected graph with n multiple n minus 1 over 2 edges. Experiments. This is for graph size n, the population size 20, probability of mutation 0.1 and crossover probability 0.9, number of generations 50, is the number of iterations we are running the genetic algorithm. Here the mutation method used is swap and crossover method is order crossover OX. Note that the maximum fitness value is close to 1. This is for crossover method PMX. This is for crossover method order crossover and insertion mutation. This is for crossover method PMX and insertion mutation. A comparison of the minimum path length is shown in the table. Note that the values are close, but the minimum is obtained by swap mutation and OX crossover. Further experiments can be conducted varying different parameters. Here the graph is size increase to 50. The genetic algorithm is run for 200 steps. These and the next slides show different combinations of mutations and crossover methods.
sometimes the max fitness comes down become elitism is not applied. Okay. Here the swab mutation and PMX crossover gives the best solution. Next, consider a large graph N100. The table shows that the best method is insertion, mutation, and PMX crossover. Conclusion and future work. In general, PMX crossover seems to be better than OX, especially for large graphs. This is in contradiction to the claim in paper, which claims to OX is better in general. There is unlikely to be major difference between swap and insertion mutation. Running the code takes less than a second for N100. Could consider large graphs. Could consider different parameter values of P mutate, P cross, population size, etc. Could introduce elitism. Overall genetic algorithm converged and found good solutions to traveling salesman problem for varying graph sizes.